All right, so let's uh, talk to Tali. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Sure. Oh, yes. Let me just come on, you little bullshit. Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever, and I'm taking it out on the poor drive core. <laughs> Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry, it won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? <laughs> I wouldn't get chickenpox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, Ooh. everything you'd expect from being sick. Cheesy coochie. That's a bad symptom. How did you get sick this time? I took some fire in a fight back on the Allerai. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage, and foreign matter got out of the disinfected zone. Oh, it no! It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. Were your immune system stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. Huh. I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. Huh. But Quarians colonized other worlds. They couldn't all have been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld in our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering so to You're a bunch of bitches is what it is. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We're in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. <laughs> we get sick at first and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust, of acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that though, except, well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. Oh, I appreciate the thought, Tally, and I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Well, not that, that I know, but I, I didn't mean it like that. It's a, um, wow, it's really hot in here. <laughs> it's just that the tradition also signifies a willingness for an um, intimacy. Oh, I wasn't trying to, it's not always like that. You're trying to hit on me. How did we even end up talking about this? Are you making a pass at me? You have nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> I feel the same way about you. Really? I didn't, you never... Well, good. Anyway, I should get back to work. But thanks for coming by and talking. How the hell could you possibly feel that way about her when you can't even see her? <laughs> She's in a fucking suit all the time. I have no idea what she really looks like. Did you know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the sub deck? <laughs> what? If she touches anything, that'll kill her. Oh, then the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Well, maybe I should go down and welcome her. <laughs> I should go down and welcome her aboard. That was funny. Hey. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. Oh, snap. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink. I have a or penis. something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes and I have history. You'll back off. 
as soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. Oh, Mike, what's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? Oh, yeah. You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Huh. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. Oh, yeah. And when we finally did Very take nice. down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. Ah. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were going to kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. Oh, That's shit! That's probably something you should remember. You're a cold-hearted bitch. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. Ooh. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. <laughs> I'm in no hurry. I want to know what makes you tick first. You don't need to know someone to sleep with them. You just have to know where to put it. That's true. Very true. <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Maybe not. Well, show me where to put it. Come on. Actually, your mouth is the perfect level right now, so let's get it on. <laughs> All right. Now I should talk to Miranda. Actually, isn't Samara on this level, too? What the fuck? I went the wrong way. Yeah, Samara's just... No, that's the cargo hold. This mission takes me back. That's all he has to say? Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call her Jesse. I know. That's you already told me this story. Killed. Dumb bitch. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. Alright, I'm not gonna listen to this asshole again. You think, uh, Grunt has anything interesting to say? He's still talking. Or not grunt. I like it. I have a clan. That makes me... Your armor looks dope. It makes me want to fight, not just able to. At Uvik, I wanted to disembowel him, to tear out his spine like a trophy. <laughs> we started this because you were losing control. Now you sound more violent than ever. Rex said I was normal. Just had this built-up stuff because of being grown in the tank. Now that I know it's not an outside thing, and I have a place as a Krogan, I like it. Our enemies are in trouble, Shepard, and we better not run out of targets. I'm not planning on living like this forever, Brent. Talk like that, and it won't be your choice. <laughs> I'm sure as hell not quitting with a whimper. Just so you're clear where we stand. At least he's honest. Talk to Miranda again. Oh, great. More loading. 